You too, what's good with y'all, man? This is Mr. Solo Dolo coming back with another video. So I'm gonna need y'all to like the video so the algorithm can promote my video to more people and so more people can see it. And also my email will be down below in the, in the caption, in the description box, priorityhealth 714 gmailcom Any like advice y'all need, personal advice, or any video requests that y'all want me to do, just hit my email and reach out. So we finna get right into the topic of 2022. This is why 2022, for most of y'all, is going to be your worst year. Okay, 2022 is going to be your worst year. And the reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of you are still operating in the confines of your past. All right, a lot of y'all are still stuck in your old ways. A lot of y'all are still stuck in old habits. Okay, a lot of y'all are still thinking the same. A lot of y'all still have the same emotions, low low vibrational emotions. Okay, y'all still behave in the same way. You're still hanging out with the same people, the same friends. You're still doing the exact same thing every single day. Okay, but you're expecting different results. But see, when you do the same thing over and over again, you're going to get the same results, the same lukewarm results. So... I want to tell y'all, man, like, y'all got to stop operating in your past, okay? Whatever happened to you when you were a child, I'm sorry to say it, but it doesn't matter, right? What happened to you when you were a teenager, whoever left you in your life, whether if you were fatherless, you know, your girl broke up with you, your girl cheated on you, whatever, whatever happened to you that was traumatic in your past, understand that you're supposed to you're supposed to heal yourself from that, right? You're going you're gonna to be hurt. You're going to be in pain. You're going to be at your most lowest point of your life. You know what I'm saying? Of course, right? But at some point, at some point, you have to be sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? You have to be done with always struggling. You have to be done with always thinking about what happened to you? You got you got to get sick and tired, man, of just being a victim. Like you ever get tired of being a victim? You ever get tired of always thinking about what wrong had people done to you, and all the wrong that people did to you, and the pain that people caused in your in your life? I mean, don't you get fed up with that shit? Like there has to be a point to where you take your power back, and you strip you strip away the power that they have over you, okay? Because when you are still thinking about what, what that person did, you're still thinking about this pain, all this pain and agony this person caused you. You're thinking about all the heartbreak this person caused you, the trauma, you know? By you thinking about it and by you going on and on about it, you are giving more power to that person that did that to you, that caused all that pain. You're giving all your power to that person. And that person is not even in your life anymore. You know what I'm saying? That person is out the way. That person is living their life. Whether they're facing their karma or not. Or they probably got their karma. But you have to understand that when those people that hurt you in the past and they are no longer present in your life, you have to move on. Because if they moved on, why haven't you moved on? You have to move on with your life. Because by you staying stuck in that same pain, you are going to only keep on manifesting more pain, more trauma. More trauma is going to become attracted to your life because you are still stuck in that vibration. You feel what I'm saying? You're still stuck in that vibration, that vibration of hurt, okay? Pain, fear, guilt, whatever, shame, you know? And you're going to attract more situations like that. You're going to attract more people that all they bring is nothing but drama, trauma, pain, and whatever, negativity, okay? Because you attract what you allow, and but that can be for a whole different video altogether. But these people that hurt you, that, that did horrible things to you, you have to put them in the past, 
okay? There's a reason why God took these people out of your life for a reason. They were only there for a, 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 a season, okay? Just a season for a reason. To teach you a lesson, all right? Some people are not meant to be in your life forever. They're not meant to be, you know, your, your A1, your ride or die. People, some people are just put in your life for lessons. And it's your job to learn that lesson on why they're in your life. There's going to be people in your life that are going to hurt you, that are going to bring nothing but negativity. You know what I'm saying? But you have to be accountable for those people being in your life because you allow those people to be in your life. You allow that energy to linger in your life. You feel what I'm saying? So it's your job to cut that per that person off, cut those people off. It's your job to, you know, break the ties with people, right? It's your job to, you know, create your own reality that you want to create. Like 2022 is not going to be your year if you do not let go of the past. The reason be why a lot of people are not successful, the reason be why a lot of people are not happy internally is because they're still stuck in the past. They are, they are still living in the confines of their past, right? Where How they grew up, their environment, their circumstances. A lot of people just become victims of their circumstance. A lot of people just, you know, they become victims of their past, all right? They have this victim mentality that they carry with them. And, you're, and like I said, you're going to attract more things, you know, that make you a victim. You're going to attract more situations like that. So you have to change, man. You have to get in the process of changing your entire, you know, your entire brain network. Okay, you got to start priming your brain, man, for the future. And this is a lot of work, a lot of inner work that I had to do for myself this year alone and last year. But this year alone, I feel like I hit that breaking point, uh, that breakthrough, I should say, that caused me to take my brain out of the past. It caused me to take everything about myself, the old me, and just destroy it, eliminate it, and create a new vessel, create a new mind, create a new personality, a new a new reality for myself. Why, right? Where those people that hurt me, people like them, are no longer welcome into this reality that I'm creating for myself. Right? Because when you start creating a new reality for yourself, you can start to put things in it that you want to put in it. Right? And you're, start, you're starting to be conscious of what you put in your reality on, on the things that you want, how you want to feel, how you want to think, how you want to behave and all that stuff. Okay, you have to be mindful of your entire personality, which is made up of your thoughts, your behaviors, and your emotions, how you feel. All right, you have to be aware of these things, conscious and, and aware of these things, right? And... <clears throat> Excuse me, your past, your past is no longer needed, okay? Your past served its purpose, right? Everything that happened in your past, it served a purpose, man. You have to realize everything that had happened to you wasn't really going to happen to you. It was happening for you, okay? Life happens for you. Life happens for us to grow. Life happens for us to elevate, okay? We cannot elevate if we do not go through any pain. If you haven't been embarrassed, if you haven't been through pain, if you haven't been through heartache, if you haven't struggled through anything in life, you are never going to grow. You are never going to be a beast. You're not going to have that dog in you. You're not going to have a, the, that mindset of a champion. You're not. If you haven't been through anything traumatic in life, Okay, those experiences were, were, were made for us in order for us to overcome it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have bad seasons all the time. It's normal. It's perfectly normal to have bad seasons. But it's about how you navigate yourself through those bad seasons. How do you handle yourself? How do you handle these difficult situations, these problems? Because every problem that I had to face in my life, just on a personal note, I struggled at first because my emotions were not in check, okay? I, sh I had a hard time handling certain things growing up because I wasn't mature, emotionally mature, 
once I became emotionally mature, I started to get my emotions in check. I started developing emotional intelligence. Okay, I was able to cope with problems a lot better. I was able to cope with my addiction a lot better. I was able to like, you know, break down my habits and break down my thoughts, break down why I'm feeling this way, break down why I'm behaving a certain way. You know, it's I'm just getting in my mind. I'm like doing some reverse psychology with my mind, my brain. And it's a lot of inner work that y'all have to do. But I'm telling you right now, man, once you get to that period, it's a lot. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Okay, because you are breaking down old circuitry in your brain. And you are starting to create new waves of energy into your life. Because once you... You throw out the old, once you you throw out the old habits, the old feelings, the old thoughts, the old personality, you, you are going to make room for new things. You're going to make room for new experiences, new people, new challenges, new opportunities are going to come your way. And once you stop operating in the past and you start operating within the future, all right, the present moment, you, you, you take yourself out of the present moment and you recreate. You know what I'm saying? You envision the reality that you want for yourself and then you recreate it in the present moment, okay? The past don't even matter. The past is the past. The past was made to bring, you know, was made for you in order for you to overcome it, right? The past was there for a reason, like I said. You know, it was just a building block for you. And you, and you got to treat your past like that. You know, you got to treat your past like it's a building block. OK, it was just a learning curve for you to just learn more about yourself and how to handle yourself a lot better in the real world. You know what I'm saying? You're going to deal with problems every every day. Right. Every day there's going to be a, a problem. There's going to be something that comes up, you know. But at the end of the day, we got to be adults. We got to be, you know, mature enough to handle these problems and to come out a lot better out of these problems than how we came in. So that being said, man, 2022 can be your worst year or it can be your best year. Either way, there's no in between. You know what I'm saying? You can decide right now that you're no longer going to operate in the confines of your past. You're not going to operate in the confines of your limitations because there is no limitations. All right. You can either break out of your out of your old habits now or forever remain in those bad habits or forever remain in your past. You know what I'm saying? And just be a product of your environment. It's up to you, man. You know what I'm saying? You you only have one life and you only hear it one time up in this bitch. And I'm and I'm finna make it worth it. I'm finna make it worth my while. You know what I'm saying? I only get one of these lives. So I'm always gonna be making better choices every day, better decisions, and you know, just doing the things that's best for me. You know, best for my future, my reality. So with that being said, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Subscribe if you are new. More content is to come. Like I said, like the video so the algorithm can promote my video to more people and more people can see my videos. So with that being said, man, I'm out and peace.